Hey everybody, welcome in. So here is the jar from Miss Sharon. I'm excited to open it up and see what's inside, see what she sent us. Super cute little jar. I just love the vintage look to it. This cute little ribbon on it. All right, let me see if I can get this bad boy open. <laughs> it's got tape on it. This is exciting, Sharon. It's always so much fun to open a jar of joy. Hopefully my video setup here is working for the time being. It's kind of just like a little makeshift. I actually have like a little nightlight <laughs> propped up supporting my uh, phone, my iPhone recording. So let me just see. Okay, so that's not too bad if I put my hand there. Oopsie. Okay, so let me turn it here so you guys can see. We have a little DiBello bracelet set. Looks like it has some beaded bracelets and then some um, gold bangles. So that's really pretty. Love that and brand new. Can't beat that. What else do we have in here? We have a pretty little pearl necklace and some little beads. I always loved these type of necklaces whenever I was a teenager. And also this one. Oh, I love this one. It's so pretty. It's like little bitty tiny puka shells. And then it's got some little bitty birds here. Oh my goodness, how cute. I love that. So cute. I might have to keep that one. Very pretty. Ooh, we got a bunch of, um, oh my gosh, Sharon, you sent so much stuff. Thank you so much. Wow. Okay. Let's see. We have a pretty ring and a pendant, a little band ring. Oh, this is pretty. It looks like, like maybe like some kind of a charm, like a purse charm, or I don't know. It's got a little lobster clasp on it. Let me pull it long way so you guys can see it. But isn't that gorgeous? I'm such a sucker for like the colored rhinestones and the simulated gems and oh my goodness. I just love all the bling bling. That is really pretty. I love that. And then we have a little pumpkin pendant. Yeah, I think that's a pumpkin. Oh, it is a pumpkin. It's a jack-o'-lantern. I can see the face now. <laughs> I couldn't make it out, but now I can. That's so cute. I love that. Oh my goodness. This ring looks like real sterling silver. It's really pretty. I don't, I wonder what that stone could be. Let me see if I can show it up close. That is gorgeous. Wow. If this one isn't sterling silver, it definitely looks like it. That is so pretty. Love that. Ooh, I'm excited. Oh my goodness. I love this one. It's so pretty. Oh, wow. Now this one does say something on it, but... I can't make it out. That's gorgeous. I love it. I think maybe all of the stuff in this bag is sterling silver. Because this one, this one says something on it too. Nice uh, chain here. And then this one has a little heart pendant on it. Let me just get it detangled here. Oh, how pretty. Love that little filigree heart charm. Gorgeous. And I didn't bring my magnifying glass in here with me, but I'm pretty sure it says something right there on that. What do you call that? The bail, I guess, maybe? I think that's what you call it. That is gorgeous. And then we have a bracelet. 
and another necklace. This one says, let me hold it up to my flash, the light. <laughs> um, S J maybe? It's hard to make out, but that, that one's gorgeous too. So pretty. Um, now, Sharon did say that um, I can do whatever I wanted to with these, so I don't know if I'll keep every bit of it, but it's going to be hard not to because so far I'm loving all of it. <laughs> Pretty bracelet. I love the stretchy bracelets. They're so much fun. Let's see. Ooh, and I see like a little rose quartz colored one too. So pretty. And the way I tell if they're real is mainly, I guess, if they feel cold to the touch. Um, this one's a little small. It might be made for a child, but still pretty. Ooh, and we got a yellow one. What's this one say? I can't make that one out. Not sure what that one is, but I love it. Love it. Oh, this is pretty. This is really an unusual bracelet because it's kind of like Part silver, part maybe like some leather work there. But and then I guess to take it, yeah, to put it on, you must. Oh, okay. You put it over like this, and then you can put it on. Wow, that's really unique. Pretty. I like that. And then we have some more beads here. They look like turquoise, but I'm pretty sure they're probably like howlite. So those are pretty. And then we have some, this one is a green necklace, triple strand. Green necklace, very lightweight. That'd be pretty for St. Patrick's Day. And we have a little heart key ring. Oh, how cool is this? Like an old uh, skeleton key. That is really neat. And it looks old like it was really like the real deal. What do y'all think? I think that looks real. Um, oh, this is neat. This one, let's see what it says. This one says Bama, and it's the same style as that other one, a little elephant, a little elephant on there as the closure, and you take the loop off, the little beaded loop, and you can put it back on that way. Very cute. We got another stretchy. Actually, I take that back. This is not a stretchy. This is a religious bracelet. It says wish, and we've got a little praying angel on there, and a little copper colored cross that says faith. Another faith. That one says love, spirit. That is really pretty, and this is kind of like how um, the Brighton clasp look but I have since learned that not all clasps just because they have a pretty little heart on it means they're brightened. Usually there's going to be like a little bee on it somewhere. Oh this is pretty a little heart pendant. Let's take it out of there and look at it. Very pretty. Love that. Oh, I love stuff like this. This so, this is a key ring, but it is made out of uh, probably either a fork or a spoon or something. This is so cool. I used to have a ring just like this too. And actually, I have a bracelet that my mother-in-law gave me a long time ago. I forgot about that. I need to get that out and polish it up and wear it. But yeah, so pretty. I love this. Oh, uh, we got a little spoon here with Donald Duck. Is 
That is so cute. And it says, I don't know if you guys can see, it says Donald right there. And let's see what the back says. Walt Disney, Walt Disney Brothers. Very pretty. Oh, and this is a little trinket box. It says June with a little pearl. Ooh, there's stuff inside. That's exciting. So we got a pretty little ring here. Now there is some marking on this one. If I had to guess, it might be like that. Um, what do they call that stuff with the H on it? H-E, I can't remember what they call that right now. But oh my goodness, is that gorgeous or what? I love the vintage looking ring, so pretty. Love it. Oh, that was so exciting to open that and find gold rings. <laughs> Oh my gosh, anytime I open something like that, that is, and see gold, I just get so excited. And another pretty little ring, like a scrolly little ring. And that is so pretty. I love those. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Sharon. This is so much fun. And we have a fun, pretty little pink, uh, like play jewelry, but let me tell you, grown ladies like play jewelry too. I love that. Very pretty. <laughs> so, gaudy. Yeah, definitely gaudy. Very pretty. And I remember these. Are, these were called uh, friendship beads. I remember making these whenever I was in uh, intermediate school. So, gosh, I was probably in like in the 6th, 7th, 8th grade. And we used to make these little, um, I'm pretty sure that's what we called them, friendship beads. So this is a blast from the past. Love this. And they kind of got like a little patriotic theme going to them. Love that. Oh, well, look at this. This is so cool. I think this is like, I think it's an elk. But there might be another name for it. I don't know. I don't think it's gazelle. But I think there is a different name for it. And I can't think of it right now. But gosh, this is really cool. I love this. Animal jewelry is my favorite jewelry. So this is really pretty. This would look really nice on a black uh, jacket or a little black sweater or a blazer. And um, brooches really help to jazz up your outfits. Like, I don't know if you guys have seen it. But on Netflix, I didn't watch it when it came out on primetime. But... Um, there's this show called, and you can watch it on Netflix now, that's where I watch it, but it's called Designated Survivor, and it has Keeper Sutherland in it, and, um, one of the ladies, I think she was, like, next in line to be the President of the United States, but she, would she, like, her outfits, everything that she would wear, she almost always wore a brooch, and I always noticed her jewelry, and I just thought it really made her outfits look so pretty, so, um, I think we're on like the second season now. But yeah, that guy, what's his name? Aaron Shore. Shore? Boy, he's a cutie. Let me tell you, I'll watch the show just to look at him. <laughs> so we have a pretty little uh, silver uh, pendant here. And it looks like it's got some little gemstones in there. Oh my gosh, it's a locket. How cute is that? Let me unsnap it here. Oh my goodness, I love that. See, look, you could put a piece of paper in there or a picture. Oh wow, that's really nice. So pretty. Oh, it does look like it has some writing on the back. Shoot, I wish I had my loop with me. Wow, that is gorgeous. Very pretty. What do y'all think? Are those, they almost look kind of like Maybe lapis? Very pretty. We have a little snowman tin, a little trinket box, and it sounds like there's something in it. <laughs> Man, Sharon, let me tell you, you know how to put together a jewelry jar. It's just, it's a jar. This is a jar, y'all, that keeps on giving. <laughs> like, she knows how to get me so excited. Look. She puts these containers in there, and then there's more stuff inside the containers. That's so exciting. 
Okay, so this one actually has a little card with it. It says 12K Goldfield Genuine Turquoise Stone. And wow, it is gorgeous. Oh, I love that. Very pretty. Gorgeous. We got some bling bling pendant. But you know what? You could also use this as a charm. But I love that emerald green. That's my birthstone. So my birthday's in May, and emerald green is my, my stone. We got a little dainty little silver chain. And, ooh, an elephant necklace. I love this chain. This is a gorgeous chain on here, too. Very pretty. And uh, we got the little uh, enamel with some rhinestones. That is so pretty. Um, so I've always heard if the elephant has the trunk up, that means that's for good luck. But if the trunk is down, that means, does that mean bad luck? I'm not sure. But this is gorgeous. I love this. So pretty. I cannot believe, Sharon, you packed so many pretty goodies in this little jar. And we have another stretchy bracelet. This one kind of has an iridescent look to it with the little star charm. Very pretty. Wow, this might be some of the best jewelry I've ever got from um, a viewer. This one is very pretty too. Look at that. And those almost look like some kind of a amethyst colored bead. They have like a purple, I'm not sure what color it's looking for y'all, but it looks purple for me. Very pretty, love that. Looks like somebody definitely took the time and handmade that. Um, what are these? This one looks like another, maybe a necklace. I'm trying to set this. I'd like to angle it that way so y'all could see better. Oh my goodness, this video is getting lengthy y'all. I better wrap this up. Okay, this one is another, looks like a locket. So, oh, that's interesting. But when you open it, it's just like this. Maybe there's some kind of secret to it. Does it, oh, the top part. Oh, that's so sad. Somebody got rid of their locket with their family members. I wonder if you open on this side, if there's more room for pictures. Let me look. Oh, and there is, oopsie. Hot potato, hot pendant. Wow, that is really a unique pendant, isn't it? So you can put up to four different pictures in there. It's got a little heart on it, very pretty. And then we have a little flip-flop necklace. Always fun for the summer. And we have a little bitty, like a little wood piece that somebody hand painted. Very patriotic. But we forgot to see what else was in here. So let's look inside here. So we have a little Paris necklace, the Eiffel Tower. Gorgeous, darling. Love it. Oh, that's actually on a double strand necklace. So like that. Very pretty. And we have another little elephant trunk up for good luck. So cute. And let's see, we have the breast cancer awareness pin. What is this one? A safety pin? Oh my gosh, that's so cute. It's a little gold safety pin brooch. Very cute. And then we have a little bird, a little bluebird pin. And another breast cancer awareness, either a pendant or a charm. Very pretty. And last, but certainly not least, 
this gorgeous cross pendant. It's silver with some pearls. Did we look in this baggie? I don't think we looked in this baggie, y'all. I mean, let's look in here real quick. I know this video is getting long. Here we have a little bracelet. Very pretty. I love that. And then, you know, a safety pin is a great way to keep all your jewelry together, too. Like, especially if you have some that are broke, but you want to fix it, you could, like, put it on there. So this one looks like a pendant and a pretty little purple charm bracelet. Gorgeous. And then... I'm not sure what this one is, but it's decorative and pretty. And a little heart necklace. Perfect for Valentine's Day coming up. And last but not least, another necklace with a pretty little pink stone in there. Gorgeous. So, wow, Sharon, I cannot thank you enough for sending all of these goodies. I'm super excited about all of this stuff. This was so much fun to open it. This is so generous and kind of you to send all of this to me. So thank you so much. I appreciate you. And um, I hope that you are doing well. And thanks again so much. So I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Thanks to Sharon. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye, everybody.